Good morning everyone. Today we are on day 28 of 30 days of sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. Remember um, there is a link for YouTube videos and they're um, just all in a row. One link and then there's also one for the Facebook group and those have all stills. And this our sketch artist today is Bev Lewis. Um, she has a matted layout. She has hexagon shapes, all different sizes. She says to put the story down here. She's got a title above the 4x6 photo and a title above the 3x4 photo. And I think that covers it. Okay, so. I am using these pictures um, that I took of my granddaughter and I actually took three pictures of her but this is actually the same one. Um, I, it was just so cute. Like I don't know if, if she had been watching somebody dance with a cowboy hat on but she was living it up here. And we were actually at a church function. Um, we were supposed to dress up like a theme and then um, they named all the tables like your group had a table and um, she was the only kid there so she wasn't actually playing but well she did do the running for us whenever we had to um, run papers up she liked doing that but um, anyhow she's over just all by herself dancing oh she had also made the sign for our um, table and um, we called it yeehaw Except for when we got there, it already had a name, and they were called the Gun Smokers, which I thought was pretty funny. But um, since she made the sign that said "Yeehaw," I'm going to use "Yeehaw" as my title. And oh, and the title is from Howdy by Simple Stories, and it's the foam stickers. And then I'm also going to have a subtitle of "Root and Toot and Ho Down." And the paper that's here is Country Fair by Minte. I'm going to use that. I really was wanting a pink hat. This is actually her cousin's hat that um, she had borrowed and I had actually um, did her cousin's photo, which is my other granddaughter. And so anyhow, this is the paper I'm going to use. I'm not going to mat it because I want the whole door because it looks like doors and or it looks like one door maybe because I only see one handle so it looks like a giant door and I'm gonna put this probably I'm gonna really put them in the middle oh the other things I'm using is simple vintage farmhouse garden I'm using things from that so I'm really mixing it up today. Oh, and I also have some stickers from Creative Memories. A guitar and a hat. And then I have a horse, which I have no idea where that's from. But he actually was on, do I have the other piece out here? Uh, maybe not. He was actually on like a little circle, but I've since removed that. Oh, here. He was actually on this, so if you have this, um, you know it looks like this but I've taken this off because I just want the horse because I'm going to use a barn too okay I think I'm ready to tape down now and I just it was so cute watching her it was so funny because they said you can't have any um, you can't have any phones out and she seen me with my phone after I took, you know, three or four pictures, and she's like, "You can't be on your phone." <laughs> it was so cute, and but I wasn't actually playing. I was. Um, there was too many people in our thing, so I didn't really play. Okay, I need to slide this one over a little bit. Did I push it down real hard? <laughs> okay, where's my little shovel? Uh, do I see it? Do I see it? I 
think I can use this. There we go. I don't think it's down too hard. Okay, I need to bring it over here a little more. Okay, let's try that. And then this one here. That should be good there. Because I want them to look like they're centered, even though they're overlapping. Let's come over here a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to just kind of give it a quick measure too. straight. Why is that? Oh, maybe these aren't? Looks like they are. Hmm. Okay, that's two and a half. So this does need to be over a little further. Oh, maybe I'm not going to. I'm going to have these be here and this one's smaller so it's going to be like that. Okay. I'm good with that. Okay. And then I'm going to put Yeehaw right up here in the corner. And I'm going to lift it up just a little bit because I'm going to put a lasso around it. And I think I'm going to, I think I'll have to put the other title down first. So I want it to be rootin', rootin', tootin', hoe down. I just thought that would be so cute, even though she's the only one dancing. And um, we were the only people that were Western themed. But we all had on cowboy hats and stuff for um, my son-in-law, who actually was the one who was telling us that we were going to be dressed up like cowboys. He didn't have a cowboy hat. But all the rest of us, I think, had cowboy hats on. And then we decorate. everybody decorated the table and everything. And Alex had made the sign so she had put like a farm and a and a horse on it so that's why even though this wasn't the name of our thing this is what she had on the sign that she made and so I want to have that on there do I want to tilt bring it over here a little bit yeah I think so okay I gotta look at it. Does it look straight? No. <laughs> no, I think it's this thing. Okay. Maybe like that. Hopefully I don't have to move it. Okay. So now I have this lasso that I I just did a loop so it was like adjustable here. So it just has a loop and a knot, and then I threaded this through here. And I'm going to put the lasso around the yeehaw. And so it'll be like this. And, or does it, should it be like this? Maybe it should be like this because I want this kind of, I'll glue it down like that. So yeah, I think I'll do this. I think that looks like sometimes they do that in Western. You know, it's been a while since I've watched one and watched somebody with a lasso, but <laughs> I'm determined, determined. Filled up my glues today, so now I got two full glues, so I'm knocking over that one and okay. So I'm gonna actually start with a big glob there, I guess. But that's alright because that's where the knot's going. And since I can adjust it, I will go ahead and put the whole circle there first, I guess. I think it needs to go this way. Or 
I'm gonna have to look at it and decide which way it looks like it would go. Okay, I think it's gonna go this way. So I'm gonna bring it all the way over here so it's in my biggest glob of glue that I dropped on there. I know one of the bottles was a little fuller, so it's probably that one. Now this does grab pretty quick, so um, as long as I can get it down where I want it, it should stay there. Seems like it's doing well. And I don't know if this is jute or what it is. It no longer says. Okay. And then I think I will kind of curve it like this. I think I'll kind of draw a line, not just kind of, I will draw a line. I don't know why I keep saying kind of. I think that's my, I don't want to commit. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why. I'm committing, I'm putting the glue down. Okay, so I'm just going to keep, um, Kind of swirling it back and forth, not kind of swirl. I'm gonna swirl it back and forth. Why I don't know how I picked up that habit. So um I went to my daughter's, you know, for the weekend. And then you know we've got where we're at we have the eclipse going through here and we have totality and I just thought it was going to be you know me and the husband and my husband works where they load trucks and I have to say that our Electric company said prepare for 150,000 extra people. We live in a little town. And and you might run out of gas, you might um, they might blow the electric with all these people here and what else? And we could run out of food. We have one grocery store. I think I kind of talked about this yesterday. <laughs> But, um, anyhow, now I've got a bunch of people coming, so we went from being here alone to having a bunch of people coming. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Doesn't, it's cute. Okay. So, I realized in the sketch she doesn't have that, but, um, you know, she's got a um, real busy background, and I don't have the, I do have one hexagon punch, but it's small. But I decided I wanted this patterned um, paper because I wanted to have pink in it because of her hat. And yet I couldn't find a pink hat. So this was my alternative to that. <laughs> okay. And then I have the star. Oh, now it's in the wrong place. Okay. I, I think I might just put it right over it and just work it out. Okay. Um... I want this, you know how last time they put a star at the top of the barn? And so I'm doing that. I'm just going to make it work. Yeah, it'll work. I'll put extra glue if I have to. Okay? And I have this floral with the tab on it. I don't know if I need to have the tab there, but I could leave it there. I just wanted to use a flower. But um, I could use this one here, or maybe the Lily of the Valley. I'm going to kind of hold that up. Now, you know these stickers are pretty fragile. So if I pull it off and it doesn't work, it'll probably just be done. 
Maybe that's too big. I think I'll still use this. Well, if I use this, it's a little more pink. So maybe I would use that. Oh, this one's so cute. I like that. I think I'm going to go with this one. I like that one, but I didn't really want the thing on the bottom. Now I just got to pull it off gently. Because I have just ripped them if, if you think you can take them off like any other. Any other sticker it just doesn't work. And I don't even like to remove them and put them on wax paper because it's difficult. Okay, but now I'm going to actually cover it up a little bit with this Creative Memory guitar. Okay, and then the cowboy hat. And I must have already use the boots because I know there was boots with it. Okay, and then I have a barn. And do I want to cover up the end with that barn? No, I don't think so. Okay, I am going to, should I cut off a little bit of that or just leave it there? I think I'll leave it there. Okay, this barn is going to go about there. And I'm going to use tape for that. Okay, I can just maybe I'll lined up with that piece of the barn wood there. And I think that is going to be straight. Oh, we got both daughters texting me. Okay. And then I have this the little horse that I took off that little background. And now he's not very sticky, so I'm going to put some more glue on him. Oh, I love it when my glue is full. <laughs> His tail was kind of separated and I kind of gave it a twist and that's really helped. Okay, and I'm just going to stand him here by the barn. Okay, and then I have these hearts, which I'm going to spread some of those around so they kind of give that same feeling that she has all these here. So I'm going to just kind of scatter some of these around. And remember these are the ones that are hard to get off here, but I'm just going to put some here and there. And that way it brings a little bit of turquoise back in because we got the turquoise barn over here. And I'm just going to put some here and there. Okay, I'm just trying to get a plan because, you know, it's like I'm not really planning this. I'm just putting them here and there. And I just think it's going to be cute. And just put them around until I think it looks like it's got enough.
Okay, I've got six so far. And I'll try to keep track like that because I do want to have an odd number when I'm all done. such a shadow. Okay, let's see what else can I put here. Okay. There's nine. Let's see, I've got three turquoise ones down. So I might just do one more and see how it looks then. Okay, I didn't put any down here. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and put a yellow one here because I'll bring in this color here. So now I'm actually going to spread around some more yellow in other places. So sometimes I'm lining them up on the in-betweens. Okay, and let's see, I need a, another black one, but I would like a big one, let me see. I'll take one of these off here. Okay, now what am I at? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. Does that look like enough? I think I'm going to call that good. I think it's cute. I love it. And I'd like to thank Bev for designing it because I would have never have come up with this. I mean, it's just amazing using sketches. And um, so I will. I was going to use some breads. Do I want to put any breads on there? I feel like I could use something over here, but I feel like I need a wagon or something. <laughs> oh, I do actually have some kind of barn thing that's on here that's little. Let me see if I can sample that on there. Or as some ladies say, audition it. Yep, because I'm going to hold it up there and see if it works. If I can open up this package. Okay. So I have this one here. It's cute. It says forever. And it looks like it's got some kind of wheelbarrow or something. Oh, it's too big. And I know I can't move my horse. I could maybe put it here just at touching it. Okay, I'm going to put that there. I like it. And then I'm going to just add a few of these. I've got some more of the gingham. I just got black dots, maybe some black dots. Maybe I'll put one here to kind of make it feel like it's connected there. And I have one here that's a sheep. So it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five things there. So I think that's good. Okay, I'm going to bring maybe a little peach up here by the Rootin' Tootin'. And 
Is there a color? I don't really have any turquoise down here. I do have a turquoise little flower here. I think I'm going to stick that there. So I'm actually bringing a little more turquoise over here. So now I feel like my color is a little more balanced out. Even though I don't have any more of that blue, she's got it on here. So she's actually a triangle. Part of the triangle there. So I like that. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, thank you for joining me. I will have close-ups at the end. Make sure you check out all the other people that are playing. And I will see you tomorrow. We only have a couple left. Have a great day. Bye-bye.